it, it's kind of hard. It's it's kind of hard for you guys. Well, not hard in the sense, but is it hard for you guys to negotiate uh a good rate for you at the at the experience level that you got? Because I I, I talked to um one driver, he's been in it for like 45 years, and they giving him 45 cent, bro. Like 40, like 40, 40 plus years at at 40, 45 cent. That's that's a slap well, in, that's a slap in the face to me, man. Well, first of all, I'm not gonna do that, but a lot of that uh, comes into play too. I mean, let's go look at your driving record. I'm not saying you, I'm just saying in general. Let's go look at your driving record. Okay, um, you got DUI on your record. You got speed tickets on your record. Uh, you got violations on your uh, DOT. But wait a minute. Uh, I, I would I would accident. But wait a minute now. I, I, I would assume in a 45-year period, majority of that stuff, if you had it, should have been cleared by now. So let's let's not even talk about you know those type of issues, you know, because forty five years, even even with uh with with an accident, I mean that that should have like cleared up like years ago. But but right, but, but see, you still say about but, that. But you still saying we, but but you still saying that. <sighs> That should no 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 no. I'm talking about no. We ain't even talking about that. Okay. I'm talking about shit that's done happened in the last uh, within the last like three to five years because uh, well the last seven years stays on your MVR. Even I mean uh, yeah, it stays on your MVR even though it may not be on your uh, your DOT debt. Right. It stays on your MVR for the, the last seven years. So right. You know, let's just say he started driving at 21 with the same age I started at. So I'm 51 and I got 30 years. So if he got 15 years more than me, so we talking about he's 66 years old. He's my brother's age. Right. Okay. But you ain't learned no lesson. Okay. So you caught a DUI in your car because you was out partying with your buddies. Well, let's, let's not even. No, 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 Buzz. No, nah. let's, nah, let's not talk saying, about. I'm just let's, saying this is. This I mean, is the type of stuff. I'm just saying. Listen, this is what I'm saying is it's stuff like. I want you to work for companies where um, you drive for whoever will hire you. You still want to drive a truck. You don't want to do anything else, so you got to go drive for whoever will hire you. So at that right. point, you but, take but whatever it is that they pay. No, no, man, no, that's not. Man, listen, I'm, we looking at brother, we we looking at we we looking at a driver with with about forty with about forty five years of experience. Let's say with a modest record, he he didn't get in. No issues within, let's say, the last five years, right? Because that's, you know, some companies go back that far. So you ain't getting no issues, no accidents, no DUIs, no nothing, nothing. You've been, you've been driving. Let's say, let's say you've been driving clean for the last five years. You got 40 years experience, though. So you come to a company and you be like yo you know because a lot of companies will turn around and be like yeah we'll 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 pay you by the experience that's not always the case you know because they always give you they give you what is starting so they be like well we give you 45 cent bro i got i got 40 40 years you know driving like backing in the dots driving different divisions and stuff like that and you gonna you you gonna offer me forty five cent? I don't know, man. That's. I mean, I I know I know drivers such as yourself. You know, you you definitely gonna demand. You know, demand what you're worth, and you're gonna go to a company that's gonna give it to you. But out of all the companies out here, we we you know out of all the companies out here that claims that they need drivers and they're they're all about family and all like that, you know, but they don't want to pay you shit though. 
man, some of them be on that bullshit, man. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Some some of these companies really be on that bullshit, and that's how they want to pay. Uh, and they claim they pay for experience. Man, let me tell you, like, when I first got into the industry, man, not even then, uh, about, let me see. So this is 2022. So about 2010, 2012, as we was coming out of the uh, the recession of 2008, well, actually, I think it's the housing and credit crisis and everything. That was like late, late 2007, early 2008. So about 2010, 2011, companies was uh, hiring drivers because things were start, you know, after a four or five year downturn, things were starting to pick back up. That's kind of crazy, man, because you wouldn't even think about the trucking industry then. <laughs> but um, they was coming out of that and they were paying drivers, I think, top pay then was about 32, 33 cent a mile. Might have been top. I'm trying to remember how much was I making back in uh, 2012. I, I, I was probably making yeah, about 30, 32 cents. Okay. Well, I started so, I, I started at 35, so. Yeah, but look look where you started at, and I, I, I'm talking about back then. Oh, we uh, talking about I'm back talking about then my, because I came in in 2015. Yeah. You're talking, yeah, about, I'm, I'm you're talking about decades earlier. Ago. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, that was top pay, right? But now what they were claiming, and let's just use companies like U.S. Express as an example or um, – yeah, what the heck was the name of that company that uh that Swift bought? Uh MS Express. MS Express down there in Memphis, which is uh Swift bought them out. MS Express was paying top drivers 32 cents a mile. But here was the kicker to that. It was like, okay, um, in order to get top pay, you had to have 10 years of experience. Okay, so you go hire over MS Express and they you ask them uh how much you paying, and they're like, how much experience you got? At that time, that was like 2010. I'm like, okay, I got, uh, I started in 92. So I got, uh, you know, I got almost 20 years of experience. Right. It's like, oh, yeah. It's like, so um, our top pay is 32 cent a mile, but our starting pay is 28 cent a mile. So what? Okay. So uh, our starting pay for you is 28 cent a mile. And if you stay here long enough, every year you get a two cent raise to top out at 32 cent a mile. Yeah. Hold up, fuck, wait a minute. Damn. But you're trying to tell me that your top pay is 32 cent a mile with the experience I got. Yes. But, but what they were saying but was. But you top with out the company, at 32 cent, though. Yeah, you top out at 32 cent, but it's with the company. Oh. Everybody started out the same pay. See how they was playing you? They try to lure you in. Okay, you got 32 cent a mile, but you gonna start out at 28 cent a mile. And that's where everybody starts out at 10 years with but, the company. But your experience, they're gonna give. They're gonna they automatically will. give you the 32 cent, knowing that they're not gonna. They, you're not gonna get no more than that. Right. No. But that's the thing. They wouldn't give you that. They was just. That was just a a ploy. The ploy on paper. Is what they that's what they saying it was gonna do. That was the ploy. In actuality, you was getting the same thing that they, that everybody else was getting is twenty eight cent a mile. That's what you was getting. You're gonna get twenty eight cent a mile and then you're gonna get a two cent raise every year like everybody else. So what they're saying is well, how you gonna guy how, how you gonna here, how you gonna get it though? I mean, you already topped out at thirty two cent. So basically what they saying to the other guy that's coming in at 28, he's they they making it sound good for him because he's like, oh, okay, well, I got 28 cent, and then next year I get two more cent, then I got 30 cent, then I next year I year after that, oh, then I'm 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 at 32 cent. And I'm happy. Yada yada yada. I'm making more money. But for the person with with the experience, you know. That's already coming in no at thirty two cents. They ain't getting no pay raise. Nope. That's it. Jeez. That's the kind of stuff that they was doing, yes. So you know, with these companies, man, you know, and with these new drivers that's coming in over here talking about, oh well, 
you know, I get paid good with my company and this, that, and the third. No, man, you don't know. Like, this is what they used to do to you drivers back in the day, you know? Were we getting, were we getting now? I mean, still, in order to get, like, 80 cent a mile, let, let's just say that, you got to go 10.99. You yeah, know, as, yeah, you are right. That's you gotta, the only way you, they're going to give it to you. Yeah, yeah you got to go ten ninety nine. But a regular, a, a a regular company, you know, like a Swift Prime or something like that, they're not going to give you eighty cent. They're gonna they're gonna top you. They're gonna top you off at least sixty, at least. Right. Right. So. That's why Prime be pushing their lease, you know, be pushing their drivers to, to go lease because they can, quote, unquote, make more money, you know. <sighs> yeah, but, Jeez. I mean, you're not making more money, though. You, you're not. And, and yeah, that's, that's true. They, yeah. That's true. And, I mean, that's what I said, man. I'm not, I'm not leasing shit from nobody, man. Well, how about how? What's your thought on what? What's your thought on drivers? Because I I was asked this question as well. What's your thought on drivers that's at a company making? You know, they they've been at the company. Let's say they've been at the company for like three years, three going on four years, and they they generated. Let's say they started off at sixty cent, sixty five cent, right? Let's say they started right. off at that, right? But then after that, at, at the end of four years, they're making like 70 cent, 68 cent, 69 cent, 70 cent, right? And let's just say for okay. some odd, let's just say for some odd reason they like, okay, well, you know, I want to look for other opportunities. And they 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 talk to companies that's only you know they 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 gonna ask you like well how much are you making now? Well, I'm I'm making seventy cent a mile, and then the other companies be like, oh we 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 can't we can't match that. Should they just stay where they at? Especially if they're let's just say they're comfortable and they just want to see what's out there. Should they just? Should they just stay with the company that's that's you know nine times out of ten look like you might get another raise within the next year or so, and you already know that you won't be able to negotiate what you're making now. What's your thoughts on that? Um, I'm kind of sort of at that situation right now, and you have to make a determination as to whether or not uh, you're going to chase that money and let that money make you, or you're going to leave that money alone and go make make the money. Because you know where I'm at right now, I'm handsomely compensated, but not as much as I should be because I know I'm worth more than what they're paying me. Right. But you you going to ask yourself. Can you drop from twenty two, twenty three hundred dollars a week down to sixteen, seventeen hundred dollars a week? Because mm. it's a hell of a drop. That is, especially you know if you've saying? been so used to it for the last what year or so. Right. So, right. If you adjusted your lifestyle to that, mm. you're looking at uh, a four to five hundred. We'll just call it a five hundred dollar pay drop per mm. week. Well, when you do the math on that, man, yeah, that sounds bad enough, but then let's do the math and say what it really is. Yeah, for what the entire really year. Is, well, I was going to say, yeah, because he's talking about $2,000 a month for an entire year. Now, $2,000 a month at 12 months, you're talking about losing $24,000. Yeah, you're right about you know, that. So now, do you want to go, you want to go from a $115,000 back down to $80,000, yeah, that's something that that's something to get you. That's that's definitely something yeah, to get right. used to, right? That's a mentality that you got to stop and you got to think about, right? Um, but also, you got to look at your, your, your sanity, your peace of mind, mm -hmm. and like I said, are you going to chase that money 
or you're going to make that money make you. Mm. You know, I have insulated myself to where uh, as my money went up, I didn't increase my uh, payments on things too much. Right. Uh, I admittedly, you know, yeah, I bought some shoes I didn't have to buy. I, I bought some hoodies. I bought, uh, you know, I bought some hats. Yeah. I took a couple of trips hey, that you, I didn't have right, to buy. Right. You, you, you splurged a little bit. Right. But as you should. But the thing being, you know, I don't have to buy any more hoodies because I got enough. I don't have to buy any more shoes because I got enough. Right. I don't have to buy any more fitteds. Actually, you know, I'm selling fitteds because I got enough. Right. Um, there's actually, there is nothing as, you know, I'm talking to my girl, there's nothing, dude. I mean, absolutely nothing that I need. And well, you know, I might need some toilet paper or something, but, um, <laughs> when you stop and think, man, if I stop, do I need shoes? No. Do I need socks? No. Do I need underwear? No. Do I need t-shirts? No. Do I need jeans? No. You know, do I need watches? No. Do I need hats? No. Do I need a coat? No. Do I need jackets? No. Okay. Do I need anything around the house? Do I need a new bedroom set? No. Do I need a new living room set? No. So, so do basically, need- so, so basically, what you're saying, you, you can take the drop without. I can take the drop because my car notes and my auto insurance is not on my hundred plus thousand dollar year. It's on what I was making, and I was making seventy, eighty thousand dollars. Okay. So, okay, so I can make that and still pay my car note and pay my auto insurance and pay my life insurance and still be comfortable. There you go. Okay. So that's what I'm saying. If I just stop buying all the stuff that I buy, that would just be added money back into my account because I'm just spending the money that's there, all not right. because I have to, but just doing it. So I can afford that drop, you know, I can afford to lose $20,000 a year. But the question is, do I want to, and do I want to go work for some of the companies that would do that? Like for instance, um, Ashley furniture, mm. Ashley furniture, they were, I think they were offering like 68, 70 cent a mile. And then they pay yada, 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 but they get paid every two weeks. And, but their truck yeah. is a, you know, they got a, I think it's like a 65 mile an hour truck and you, there, you, no way, no if, ands, and buts about it, you're not bringing your truck home. Right. The closest yard is over there on the other side of Columbus, over there by, uh, where that loves and the, the new loves and that, yeah. uh, TA and everything on the other side of Columbus on 70. Right. That's where they're closest yard is at which is a it's an Ashley distribution center and that's where that's they where want you, you to park it yeah that's where they want you to park the trucks yeah, yeah and that's like it's an a, hour and a half away I talked to uh and, I talked to Hobby Lobby uh about a couple of weeks ago and they 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 said the same thing like but they they basically looking for team drivers but when when you go and park the truck you have to park the truck at a you know at one of their specified uh locations you're not you're you're not uh allowed to take the truck home. So Big Cheese got it locked. Boy. Don't you me all night, yeah, take me down.